so welcome to the first video on this channel. Um, this, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, this is the channel that's associated with my TikTok, um, which is Christmas Kurtz Feldman with underscores in between each. But, uh, yeah, and it's just a military channel. I mean, it's mixed military. It's not just from, like, World War One, World War Two, or anything like that. It's all eras, you know, everything. So what we have in front is a Czech M60 canteen that I currently have in shambles, and I figured I'd show y'all. Um, I got this off of Hesh Antiques for, I believe, about seven bucks. I believe that's what it cost. I, I don't remember. Um, very nice canteen, um, but did have a major flaw when I got it. That right there. This right here, I do believe, is normal. This, you know, indentation right here. But this, I know, is not normal, because that is pushed in, and I can't figure out a way to get it out. I got it this way, so. But in other news, um... The Czech M60 was, I, from just by the, from just by the numbering, I could assume that the Czech M60 was probably released between 1960 to somewhere in the 90s, maybe even further, because mine is dated to 1990, let me look here, in 1992, says it right there, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but yeah. The harness is good too, but sadly it did break right here, because that is a separate button, but... Or that is a separate slot, but yeah. Um, the wool cover is very nice as well. Um, very sturdy and very good at doing its job, I guess you could say. It's very, very well made, and I mean that's the thing with this cool military stuff is you know, especially the old stuff, it is very well made. But yeah, um, I obviously can't make a video out of a minute, but I'm not going to really show anything else other than the holster in the background real quick. So let me just clean all this uh, Czech M60 canteen up, and then I'll get the holster. Alright, so here we have the um, holster. I bought this holster off of Epic Military, and I really wish I didn't because I paid way too much for this. It was 17 bucks for just this. It's made of canvas. Um, it does have synthetic synthetic um, leather, which I don't like synthetic leather, but, leather, but um, yeah. It came in shambles. I had to put my own custom um, holders for my so I could put it on a belt um, because they were all ripped off. Um, if we go ahead and open it up, there is, um, some other damage done. There's rust on the, I guess you could say, latch or spoke. Um, it moves very rough. Very rough. Um, the, hold, the holder for the gun itself, which is this strap right here, completely, it, it came broken. Um, I, like, I could pull it out of that right now, but I won't. But yeah, I mean, I was very upset when this happened, because... It was a waste of money. I would not recommend Epic Militaria as a as a place to get um, miscellaneous Militaria, German Militaria, really any Militaria pertaining to a era that isn't British, because their British stuff is pretty good. But this is not good. Um, you know, this paid seventeen bucks for this plus nine dollars shipping, so it was a lot of money. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab one more item, and I think some of y'all, the Soviet guys, might like this. So here we have a Soviet-era Mosin-Nagat pouch. <laughs> these, I bought these in a lot. What the heck is, oh, it's a piece of stuffing from something, I, uh, I don't know what. But uh, these are Mosin-Nagat ammo pouches, and uh, mine, are, mine are dated, they're original. Um, I have three of them, two of them are currently sitting on a belt and will be looked at tomorrow, if I do post the video tomorrow. But mine, um, I forget when they're dated to exactly, um, I really can't read the Russian, but what I do see is 1967. Alright, at least I think 1967 in that. Uh, I don't know, maybe that is 1967, I can't read Russian and there are some Russian characters there, but uh, yeah. Um, these were literally three bucks for, or three bucks each for the three of them. So I've got two others over there on a belt, but, uh, yeah, they're a bit messed up. I've tried to, I'm hoping to get some leather conditioner and eventually make them really nice. But yeah, overall, these, um, Mosin-Nagant pouches were very nice. Very, very, very nice. But, uh, yeah, so that marks the end of the first video. Um, I hope y'all liked it. I, I'm, I'm good at these videos, and I'm good at making YouTube videos, but this is kind of a step out of my comfort zone because they're 
military related stuff and I've never really done videos on military stuff and I hate to just have you all pointing directly there but I'm sorry I I, I I'm not looking very good at the moment and I don't want to show my face but uh yes I hope to get some more military stuff for Christmas and if I do I'll definitely make videos on those and I also want some antique stuff as well um actually you know what I'm gonna treat everyone I'm gonna do one more thing it's a harmonica I've had for a while I don't know how old or this thing is. It's a, I guess that's a film on it. I guess that's what that says. Um, made in the U.S. harmonica. It's a tone A, tone A, which is, yeah. But yeah, I don't know what era it's from. Don't have any box for it, but it does still work surprisingly. Yeah, here you all can listen to this. It does still work. I do play a bit of harmonica myself, um, but not this one, obviously. But yeah, that actually marks the end of the video. So we're completely done now. Um, thanks for watching. Um, participate in the polls on my TikTok to get this channel a name. This channel needs a name. But yeah, see y'all.